Hello, my name is Daryl. My name is Daryl Donaldson, and I'm Donnie Darko fan number one, or Darkon Prime as I like to call it. How do I know that I'm Donnie Darko fan number one? Because I am. And I'm here to make this film today to show you that I am. So come with me as we step through the portal. <laughs> Um, so this is my room. It's a little messy, but I wanted—I didn't want to, you know, straighten it up for you guys. I wanted you to see it as is. I used to have some, like, pictures of my family and stuff in these, but I thought these were cooler. This is, of course, my collection. This is the meat and potatoes right here. And then this is one uh, that I did a while ago, and it's uh, me and Gretchen Ross. And, uh, and then there's the, uh, the fat guy. He's like smoking a cigarette. Some of these are just, you know, inspired by dreams I had. And some of them are just kind of while watching the movie, I just kind of let myself go. But I made this uh, sort of jet engine replica to hang above my bed. It's sort of a mobile, you know. And uh, I, lay, I, can, I lay in bed some nights and I look up at the mobile. Let me play you my favorite track. I love that. I don't know what instrument that is. But it's like, that was like outer spacey. But here, okay, here's. I stop. It's like, you know, they ask, they ask um, gigolos or uh, uh, guys who get around, like how many women you've slept with. And, you know, they're always like, oh, uh, you know, I've lost count, you know. And I'm sort of like that in watching Donnie Darko, because, you know, I've seen it so many times, I just, I've lost count. Like, people are like, how many times have you seen it, you know? And I always joke like, oh, a gentleman doesn't tell, but that doesn't, you know, that doesn't make sense. Yes, he'll go to the past, it'll last in the past, where he'll save all their lives, and he'll, oh. Donnie Darko, Donnie Darko, alternate, Universe Donnie Darko. It's like the breakdown. Oh man. So many similarities between Donnie and Daryl. It goes beyond our initials, you know. We both we both uh, we both ride bikes. We both enjoy riding bikes and we both, you know are on medication and sometimes we don't want to take that medication. I'll look at like what in my life is correlating to the movie that week, you know? I'll be like, man, I just feel like, I just feel like fucking burning down a house. And so I'll watch the scene where Donnie burns down the house. You know, when I ride my bike around my neighborhood, I like to pretend I'm in Middlesex, you know? Like, like, oh, there are the farmers live over there. Like, hi, Mrs. Farmer, how are you? And you know, the Darkos are right across the street and maybe I'd see Samantha or Mr. and Mrs. Darko outside. Or uh, I like to pretend this inflatable castle here is Jim Cunningham's house, you know? Like, he's got an inflatable castle outside that, so he can lure children over. And I got most of these pictures of Jake off of a, a website about him and uh, you had to like sign up for a membership and everything and I'm, pr I'm probably the only male with a membership to the Jake Gyllenhaal website but you know it's funny this is very Christ-like which I like uh, I'm not like a Jesus freak or anything but I just I don't know I like that and then this is sort of, I call this the gang gangsta rap picture because it's just like he's gonna go rumble with some crips or something in this one I really like that Donnie does that a lot, and I think that's really cool. I call this Frank's Corner, and it's sort of just all these different various pictures of Frank and different incarnations. And sometimes I'll just stand here and pretend like Donnie's talking to me, and I'll zoom. And then sometimes I'll, I'll be talking to Frank. And he'll zoom. He just called me about 10 minutes ago, because apparently Mr. James Duvall is there right now. I'm, I'm worried about uh, not making it in time. God's hand for me right now is pointing to this exit right up here, Hollywood and Highland, which is what MapQuest told me I should take. He's coming. He's coming. 
Okay, he's walking. He's walking to his apartment, which is three blocks from here, and he doesn't know. He's not. He's coming. Okay, he's coming. Just be cool. Be cool. Okay. Be cool. Uh, I'm Daryl Donaldson. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I just if you could if you could step over here for a moment. Uh, number one, uh, what what is what is uh, how does your character Frank play into the melding of like Universe A and Universe B, and which Frank did you prefer playing more? Sort of, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow you. Uh, um, at what point in the in the pro the productional stage of the movie did you realize that you were involved, like in the most influential movie of your generation? Like, when did it hit you? You know. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty big compliment. Um, well, you know, I it's guess, true. I guess right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, uh, what it, what is what is the meaning behind Donnie Darko the film? I think I know, and I have a theory, and so I'm just kind of seeing what everyone else, their take on it. So what do you think, it, what, all, what, what does it mean? What is it? Well, I, you know, I've said this a few times before, but I'll stick to my guns on this. I think it's really simple, actually. The movie's about possibilities. Anything's possible. That's awesome. There's, uh, there's actually two R's in Daryl, if you could. Okay. Uh, best wishes. Um, keep, keep the dream alive. Thank you so much. Really, and you can you can you can go, and I just wanna I just wanna thank you again. I can just. Chapter six, and this is where I get really pissed off, because, the 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 philosophy of time travel book goes from chapter two to chapter four to chapter six. There's no chapter three. There's no chapter five. Why are they hiding it? Like, Roberta Sparrow was onto something that the makers of the book, the Donnie Darko book, didn't. Like, why don't they want us to know? This is something I want to ask Richard Kelly when I meet him, not if. I got his number off of the internet. It's amazing what you can find. Hey, this is Richard. I uh, can't get to the phone right now. Give me a message and I'll call you back. He never answers his phone. Hi, Mr. Kelly. It's uh, Daryl Donaldson again. Uh, I have a question for you. Um, in the philosophy of time travel, it says that when the uh, manipulated awaken from their journey into the tangent universe, they're often haunted by the experience of their dreams. And I was wondering if it's only when they awaken from returning to the tangent universe or uh, if it's possible that they could have the dream repeatedly over and over. I, yours truly, Daryl, is headed to San Diego um, to see one Mr. Richard Kelly. So here I am in beautiful San Diego, California, getting ready to go into the Comic-Con. You can see the Comic-Cons right over there. Very pseudo-futuristic. Very awesome. This is huge. Are you recording? Okay, that's Stuart Stone right there. He was in the movie. He, of course, plays Ronald Fisher. Mr. Stone, hi, I'm uh, I'm Daryl Donaldson. Your your character seems like a really great friend uh, in the movie. <laughs> thank and, you, thank and you. And do you would you consider yourself a really great friend in real life? Uh, I would say that I'm a, I'm a pretty good friend. Be yeah. friends with a guy like me? I can't, I don't see why not. You look like a pretty pretty nice individual. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's cool. <laughs> what are you guys doing after the the panel? Uh, I, I think they got some stuff lined up for us, like we're going to go to some sort of a reception or a oh, dinner cool. or something. Oh, cool. I'll try to catch up with you guys. Maybe I'll give you a call or something. Sweet. Could you say somebody really ought to write that bitch, Daryl? <laughs> Are you sure this is for like an official Donnie Darko thing? Yeah, yeah. Like for your own no, no, this is, for, this is for the this DVD. This doesn't look like for the DVD type of equipment. No, but we've been... I we've mean, I'm sure that like the people, at the fine people at Donnie Darko uh, could... Or a microphone without an well, orange no, it's, cover. Well, it's no, it's sort of a contest. Oh, really? It's uh, the number one fan contest. Oh, on so you're the number com. one fan? Well, if I win the contest, I am the number one fan, but when you win the contest, they'll put your film on the DVD. Oh, that's awesome. So Somebody ought to write that bitch, Daryl. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, no problem, thank man. you. Thank you very yeah, much. Good luck well, I can let you go inside now. Yeah, I'm going to go. Um, uh, nice but yeah, you. we should try to hang out later. I'll look for you. Uh, that's, that's cool. Cool. Okay. All right, look forward Great. to it, man. Great. Good luck. Thanks. He was so cool. He's so cool. He, he's gonna be such a good friend. Richard Kelly's uh, question and answer session is going on in, inside right now. It's kind of dark in there, so 
Uh, I hope you'll be able to see everything, but all the spotlights are on Richard where they should be. I'm not cutting. Just give me one second. He's right here. I'm going to talk to him. Hi. Hi, Ruth. I just want to, I just, I just want to apologize for I, if at I at all. You know, yeah. Yeah. That was okay. And I just want to apologize. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want your, I don't need your autograph for anything. Cause I, I feel it creates like a, you know, because I feel we're on this, the same, you know, and I just was wondering if I could whisper something to you. I just just want you? yeah I, I just don't want them to hear. Um, this here. Really? I just want to whisper. Please, just one thing. Why don't you just say it to me? Yo, man, like, lay off. I, I it's kind of just oh, weirded man. out by that. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Uh, on the bridge, come on. I don't know. Man. I just want to whisper. Just, you want to Sorry, whisper something? No, I just want to whisper one thing. Just one thing. I'm not carrying anything. Just one thing. No, I'm not carrying anything. Look, I'll put I did it. I just kissed him. I kissed Richard Kelly. I did it. Awesome. I can uh, die now. <laughs> I can die. Donny, 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 What we do? Uh, 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 u